Okay, in the next coming release, there's a couple of changes. One of the changes is to do around track joins. So when two tracks are joined together by the one part here, um, there's a uh, track join in the middle there that is shared by both tracks. Um, now, at the moment, when you make changes to one track, and I straighten that out 100%, um, you notice there, if I just press the W key, I've had that uh, track there selected, so it's actually changed the, the surface for that and it blends around to the next track surf, uh, track join shape, which is over there. Um, over on here though, the, the track that it joined to was pretty much unaffected apart from the very first one where they, they're sharing a shape between the two different shapes. Um, so if I wanted to do the sh same change to the other track, I can uh, copy that and then paste it to the other one. Um, or you would have to go in here and make that same change again. Straighten it. So in the new version coming out soon, it's a little bit simpler. Uh, we just grab that whole shape. Uh, again, do the same operation, but now you can see both um, tracks have actually changed. So that track and that track both got flattened out. Um, of course, if you did want that um, transition to happen as it did before, you could just drop another shape in here and keep that as the original one. Modify that as you would like. And let's take a look at one of the new features, the roadside adding of objects. Uh, so with this, you select the object as per usual and you just click and drag from one spot on the track to the other and it'll place objects um, ar around that part of the track. Um, so if I was to do it over here on this part of the track, see them all there. Let's just uh, undo that. Nice. And let's try uh, changing the minimum and maximum distance. This interface is still a bit of a work in progress. Um, so let's change that to say 30 and same for that one and then try that again you see they're all lined up um, still not looking the best for poles that you want along a track so let's undo that and tick this even spacing section and now let's go from there to there yeah that's looking better but still too many poles so let's undo again um, change this density down try again Okay, that's looking better. Um, so this allows you to add a whole lot of objects to the side of the track very quickly. And lastly here we can uh, add some grass. Um, I've overridden the randomness so it's quite large grass. I've changed the minimax distances there. I uh, kept it on both sides. So if we just click and um, release on another part of the track it's um, doing that whole track now in grass um, unfortunately that's also doing the track so let's undo that as well and tell it to keep off the road um, do that again and it's kept off the road um, one thing you'll see here is um, actually if I just go into this mode um, turn off the wireframe um, there's a fairly even amount of grass from the inside of the track to the outside of the track. It's fairly consistent in its randomness. So let's just undo that again, um, add again. And this time I'm going to click this normal distribution. Uh, just a fancy way of um, giving uh, a higher weighting, I guess, to the inside of the track. Um, so the randomness is favoring anything that's close to um, the inside of the track versus out here so you see a higher density of objects there and that probably uh, works better when you're actually um, here at the ground level anyway that's some uh, new features on the way I'm going to release a beta very soon um, and um, hope you enjoy it thanks for watching